How's it going YouTube? Donald here and in this video we're going to talk about the three most effective strategies to apply and land interviews for entry-level developers. Now I'm going to talk about my experience going through you know the job hunting process you know I've been through it many times for many years I've tried all different types of strategies and over that time I've kind of figured out what works and what doesn't work so I'm gonna talk about the strategies that I used that were actually effective for me in order of most effective to the least effective right so we'll get started we're not gonna waste any time here so the number one most effective strategy was LinkedIn inbound right what is LinkedIn inbound LinkedIn inbound is when you have an optimized setup LinkedIn and a recruiter reaches out to you asking you to already enter the interview process or have that initial conversation you know the truth is my LinkedIn interview was gotten this way. My TikTok interview was gotten this way. I think I did interview at Amazon. Uh, I had to check my LinkedIn messages, but that was also this way. And, you know, those have been really actually effective. And that's how I got most of my big tech interviews. So the question might be, how did I do it? Well, the first thing is you have to pick a niche, right? What do I mean picking a niche? You have to choose what your area of specialization is. And I actually got this from my business career. If you don't know, I was a digital marketer before. So I uh, write statements like I help, you know, chiropractors get more uh, patience in with using digital marketing. So I thought to myself, how do I apply the same thing in, you know, when when it comes to the job hunt? And I decided that you know I started out doing iOS you know I would say I'm an iOS developer specializing in LiDAR uh, core Bluetooth and I think something else I don't remember what my uh, line was but it was something like that and because I had those keywords on my LinkedIn and that was the first thing and that was my area of specialization and all my job uh, listings were catered towards that I got a lot of reach outs that way and it was very very effective so if you want to replicate the same thing for yourself what you want to do is you want to pick a niche you want to really cater that towards that particular area and you can even go a step down and you know you could say specializing in LiDAR for robotics companies that would be even more effective because now you're even more targeted and you're more going towards that I was a little bit general when I was doing that so you know it is what it is but that was my most effective strategy by far so let's talk about number two number two was two things it was sending out cold applications and pairing it with an reach out email to the recruiter and I want to create a caveat to this that it was more effective when it was companies that I already had some sort of background to or some sort of affinity to that were most effective so if you don't know I do have a background in digital advertising so as a result a lot of my emails that went out would explain my you know passion for digital marketing how I was a digital marketer for five years you know I achieved this results and you know it got me pretty good results but it doesn't really work if you don't have experience but if you're in the position what I would recommend that you do is I would recommend that you find areas that you may have some affinity towards so for example let's just say that you're a new grad you're coming out of school and you don't have any experience you've never done an internship that kind of stuff or maybe you're like me and all you've worked is for the government right that's not going to be very relevant right so what do you do in that scenario well are any of your co is any of your family members in an industry are they familiar with that industry you know let's say that my father was a doctor 
my mother was a pharmacist. That means, you know, I have an affinity towards the medical field. I probably have some sort of no internal knowledge that a, a random new grad would probably not have. So I would probably put that in the email. I would say something like, hey, recruiter name, hey, Jenny. You know, I'd put a custom first line just based on what I see on their LinkedIn profile. So for example, I'd say something like, hey, Jenny, I see you work See, so you went to the UCLA. I'm a big fan of the Bruins, right? You know, especially in America, it seems like all the, all everyone's like such, so passionate about their alma mater, right? It's not the case in Canada. But anyway, then I go into my next line, which is, you know, I'd say something along the, hey, my name is Donald. I'm a ex, so maybe full stack developer with a strong background slash strong interest in, you know, ad tech or med tech or big tech or insert tech here, right? And then I'd say something along the lines of, I am on my quest for my dream job and I came across your company name. You know, this company or these company values really resonate with me because my parents were doctors and you know I'm very familiar with the doctor industry and then that's going to be paragraph two and paragraph three I put you know why I'm a good fit for this job so you know I'd say something along the lines of at my past job you know I built an NCMR tool that helped my company save five hundred thousand dollars in debt inventory now you might not have those tangible accomplishments, but I would say something along the lines of if you're a new grad, I'd say something along the lines of, oh, you know, I just built this project, you know, a website kind of thing, and you know, it helped bring in X amount of customers, or it helped this small business out, or something along those lines. And then my last paragraph would be, oh, my call to action. I'd love to talk more about this position with you. Are you free for a call this Wednesday or Thursday afternoon? Uh, let me know, and I've also attached my resume for my reference. Sincerely, Donald. That's exactly what the email that I did, and it's important that you, you know, customize it for companies that you actually know that you're a good fit for or you have some sort of background because a resume is only going to tell you so much and this email is the one that's going to make you stand out for all the rest and tell the recruiter that huh this person actually is familiar with what we do on a day-to-day -day basis they understand our problems they understand what we're going through and the kind of product that we're trying to solve right so that's why it's effective I'm going to talk about the last one now this last one happened to land me my position right now but while it still works it's not as effective as the other strategy and what is it it's mass supplying right so the reality is if you do enough numbers it's going to work at some point right i think i put in like 1000 or 2000 applications before i ended up getting this job right now this is not something that I recommend, like I just go on Indeed and I just spam the apply button. I honestly don't recommend that, right? Because to be honest, I got lucky on it, but I I don't think it's fair to leave it out of this video if it actually landed me a job offer, right? So the last one's gonna be mass applying on every job hunting website. Again, this is not very effective, but it still it still works, right? It's just, it's going to burn you out. You know, it's going to be very demoralizing. So at the end of the day, while it did get me my current job, I really can't recommend it for the most part. But if it's between, you know, not doing any of the other things and doing this, you much rather do this and do the volume. So take it as you will, right? So hope this video was helpful. Hope it provided some value to you. If it did, make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.